Today, a new era begins, and we begin to do things differently. Paris gave us the agreement. Katowice and Glasgow gave us the plan. Sharm el Sheikh shifts us to implementation. No one can be a mere passenger on this journey. This is a signal that times have changed. Speaking on Sunday, November 6th, at the opening of COP27, Grenadian born Simon Steele, the new Executive Secretary of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC, says world leaders would now have to take accountability for their actions in tackling one of humanity's greatest challenges, climate change. Mr. Steele called himself an accountability chief as he revealed that since COP26, only 29 countries have stepped forward with Titan's national climate plans. He added that an additional five followed suit since the publication of the UNFCCC's nationally determined contributions synthesis report. Steele believes this is far from acceptable, as there are 165 countries which still need to revisit and strengthen their national climate pledges this year. He called out the progress blockers and made it known that going forward, they will not hinder the efforts to address climate change. There are those that are going forward further and faster than everyone else. These are examples that must be followed. There are those who just need a nudge into taking further action to go beyond business as usual. There are others who need support so they are able to do the things they need to do for their countries and communities, specifically highly vulnerable nations. And then there are those who still refuse to act unless others do. They will not be allowed to slow down the collective process. Let's not let positioning block progress. All of us have to do everything we are capable of doing. The accountability chief reminded the leaders of their promises made to address climate change during COP26 and urged them not to turn back on their words. He boldly stated he would not be a custodian of backsliding. We will be holding people to account be they presidents, prime ministers, or CEOs, an accountability chief, if you may, because our policies, our businesses, our infrastructure, our actions, be they personal or public, must be aligned with the Paris Agreement and with the Convention. The heart of implementation is everybody, everywhere in the world, every single day, doing everything they possibly can to address the climate crisis. Mr. Steele was appointed Executive Secretary of the UNFCCC on August 15, 2022. He previously served as Grenada's Minister for Climate Resilience and the Environment for five years. The ongoing COP27 UN climate talks will continue in Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt, until Friday, November 18, 2022. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Tillisford.